Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Um, I just wanted to give you guys, uh, I guess, a heads up of what, what I've been doing um, and, and kind of hoping to keep the, the spirit of, of learning and practicing and doing the stuff that you guys, I would hope, enjoy doing. Um, you know, I, I know the, the Google Classroom thing is a, a learning process. I think we're all kind of getting through it the same, the same way. Um, I do encourage you guys to get on there and kind of play around with it, try to get some, some stuff uploaded or, or just try. But um, I figured if you guys are having to go through it, I might as well too. So uh, if you guys saw or have not seen, uh, both Mr. Majors and I are going to try to pick up a new instrument. Um, all the way from when I was your age to when I was in college, I played saxophone, a woodwind instrument. Well, I've always wanted to try learning French horn, so now's the time. Um, I'm going to go through the same exact stuff that you guys do from day one. Like, you can't see it too well, but I'm going to make sure my posture's right, my, ha my uh, hands are all doing the right stuff. Um, I'm going to make sure I read, you know, starting on number one and rocking out a C. And we're going to get to where we get to. Um, I think Mr. Majors is doing flute, which I think is awesome. I applaud him because I also am not great at flute. And I think it's really, really good for us to kind of expand our horizons. So my goal is to run through the book as much as I can here. Um, I'm probably gonna make mistakes. This is gonna be one take. I'm gonna try and, and, and talk through what I'm doing. Um, but I'm kind of seeing which which the two of us, Mr. Majors and myself, can get through this the best. And I'll let you guys kind of decide on that one. Anywho, so I'm gonna play, um, I'm gonna play number one here, um, which is just your first notes and play and hold. I might miss the note, I don't know, but we're gonna find out. try to take the instrument away from my face and, and do a full restart on that because if you don't you kind of aren't doing your muscles justice it's like taking the weight that you're, you're pulling up and down the dumbbell and never actually putting it down so you can pick it back up you're not really getting the full range of muscles so I try to stop that too uh, the first one is a is a count and play or a bunch of quarter notes so this is really articulation You kind of know my articulation wasn't always super consistent. Um, I did try to keep it as, as consistent as I can, not choppy and not like too mushy. Um, but it's a learning process for sure. You can definitely see where I can I can improve on some stuff. All right, so number two is the new note. Uh, for me, it is a B flat. A C originally was open with trigger, and now I'm going to be doing plus one. shot that one that time and that's what I'm saying if you pull the instrument away from your face you can really like develop that immediately hit it every time so number four is um a, is two, the two notes together so b flat b flat b flat b flat and then up to c um and for brass players from what you know what I, I've done so far and and I guess what we all know is that you really have to hear the sound before it happens you notice I just sang the sang the, the note before I ever played it right I know what that's supposed to sound like, um, so hopefully, if I if I you know if I miss it, you know, for instance, if I play too low, I know that I know that's too low. So I have to aim for something higher. 
so I know what to go for. Um, anywho, so number four. <laughs> crack on my, my, I have a cat and uh, I moved some stuff around so I can record and she is um, currently swatting at my chair it's kind of adorable. Anyway, um, moving on, number five. This is an A for me. Um, still, again, using Trigger 1 and 2. Um, this The book does a really good job of, of separating French horn stuff where you can play the upper note or the lower note. I'm going to try playing the lower note on this one. Um, I'm probably going to feel miserably at it, but Hey, why not? Mm, I don't think I'll try it. Let me find that A in the upper octave first. There it is. So it'll be a bunch of A's, a bunch of B flats, and then the C. Probably gonna have to do some some work on that over the long term and really make sure I, I get exactly what I want coming out the second I push a new key down. All right, guys, we're officially take two. Um, I did the first take and I actually did uh, page four and five. I, I actually I, I stopped the video um, just now after page four. I did it originally through through page five um, and after me doing you know a a farewell I guess um, it was like. 20 minutes long, and that's too much. So, anywho, um, I'm going to stop there for today. Uh, we, both Miss Majors and myself, both worked through page uh, page four. Um, I want to encourage you guys to practice. I want to encourage you to find something you can, you can work on. It doesn't need to be number one. It doesn't need to be in the book. But something you enjoy doing. Um... You know, there's so much out there. There's so many resources. You know, find a video of something you really like. Find somebody playing something on on clarinet or or saxophone or tuba or whatever instrument you play, and, um, and try to learn it. You know, um, enjoy enjoy what it is you do. Um, I miss you guys terribly. It has been a royal pain uh, not being able to see you guys every day because uh, I do do enjoy it. Um, so I hope you guys are doing well. Um, remember that I'm here for you. If you have any questions, if you want to just, just ask, you know, uh, Mr. Booth, I can't figure out how to get Google Classrooms to work. I can't figure out how to play an F sharp. I don't know. Whatever it is. Um, please ask. I'm more than happy to help. Um, if you need something out of the band room, let me know. If you need, you know, whatever it is, I'm happy to help. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm gonna see if I can make this new little funny competition between Mr. Meters and myself. So the competition being, um, I kind of want to pass them. So I might just keep practicing and, and, and do like a, a day every day, every other day or something like that. Check in, just see how he's doing. Um, but I really want to learn French horn. I think it's been a lot of fun. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, try to stay healthy. Try to stay productive if you can. Um, I'll see you guys next time, okay?